Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a different kind of video. For those of you who don't know, I recently became a Living Books representative. And if you don't know what that is, Living Books is about three hours away from where I live and they are a Christian book warehouse. And I sell books from them. And they are the Christian book warehouse for all of Canada. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through the catalog and highlighting some of the things in the catalog. I will also be going through the website and highlighting some things there. If I don't highlight something that you see, that doesn't mean I don't think it's a good product. I can just only highlight so many things. And one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I recently got told from someone that they really appreciated it when I highlighted some of the things that Living Books was selling on my Facebook page. So I thought I would just go through the catalog and do the same thing. So if you don't live local to me or close to me, you can still buy from Living Books. You would just have to get it shipped to you and I'm gonna go through a little test order to show you how to go about ordering and how to make sure that you put down that I am the seller. I'm gonna take you through the catalog now and I'm gonna start you off right at the Google home screen. So you can see this is just like any other Google search. So you're going to type in the search bar living books and then I have it in here catalogs and so then it's going to take you there. You're going to have to go down a little bit to Living Books Products. You want to go to www.livingbooks.ca and then click Products. And then here it takes you to this website right here. Here's the 2022-2023 um, complete catalog. And then there's also some other catalogs down here that we're going to go through as well. We're not going to go through all of these, but these are all the catalogs that they offer. We are going to start in the good news catalog. So you're not gonna click on this. You're gonna wanna click on the actual picture. And you just have to wait for it to load. And this is what it's going to look like. You can see there's 20 pages. So we're just going to start at the beginning. I'm going to zoom in so that we can look closer at it. So the first one I want to point out is Courageous and Bold Bible Heroes. It talks about, it's this one right here. It talks about 50 people in the Bible from Hannah to Daniel and others. And then my very own Bible. I would say I've seen this one and I would say it's about it's a very small book and it's pocket size. It goes through the more well known Bible stories. On one side of the book is the words of the story. And on the other side of the page, so you're going to look at two things like this, they're going to be connected. So this side would be the words and this side would be the picture. And then you turn the page and it's a new story. The Best Biggest Life is by Daniel Darling. And I really enjoy his writing. So this might be a book to look into for kids. This is the family reading section. So this might be a book to look into for kids. Um, it's right here. And um, he also writes books for adults as well. And then Mama Sing My Song, that looks really interesting. The description says that the animals are reminded through their mother's song that they are created by a loving God who sings their purpose and their great love for him. And then King and the Dragon, this one right here, teaches about God's redemption. And when I was in Borden, I went to Borden in September because I had a... Um, special event for reps and distributors. And so they highlighted this Goodnight Classics book and it is 10 fairy tales and they tie in truths of scripture. So one example they said in Borden was that the three little pigs learn how important it is to build their house slash life on a firm foundation. So now this is the preschoolers section. 
snuggle time love is rhymes that go through first corinthians 13 so the love is patient love is kind there's the bernstein bears collection right here there's six books in one um the known psalm 139 reminds your kids that god is with them everywhere they go the otter bee books are right here they're really good there are about eight books in the series, so not just these two or three, so you can check those out as well. And now here's some children's nonfiction activity books. So I'm not going to talk about each one of them, but as you can see, there are a lot of workbooks from math, to coloring, to crosswords, to word searches. And then this is Christian Fiction Early Readers. Um, there is a box set, Fiona and the Hippo series. It looks like this one is number seven and eight. You would have to check with Living Books to see if they have one to six. So children's fiction junior readers. Um, so these first two box sets, I'm not sure which one, but I know it's one of these two, is based on a true story. I think it might be the one where their mom dies and they move to a new city but I'm not sure on that so don't take my word for that but one of these is based on the true story I'm just not sure which one and then they also have adventures and odyssey books and tapes to listen to and then there is the dead sea squirrels box set I personally know some kids who really love this series and I think there's 10 books in the series So in children's nonfiction, there is 100 Days of Adventure. This one looks like a really great book. It's um, 100 hands-on seasonal activities, experiments, crafts, recipes, field trips, and more. Um, and then they also have Ready, Set, Know Your Bible. Um, this one includes scripture, a memorable rhyme, and a summary of each book. And then here are also some joke books. And then in the teen nonfiction, there's a bunch of devotional books. And then in the teen fiction, I've heard really good things about Wishtress. I haven't read it, but I have heard good things. Um, So in some of these sections, like this one, for example, Fortress of Snow, this isn't the first book, but um, if you want like the first book, um, I would, you can message me and see if they have it and I can see if they have it. In every hidden thing, this isn't the first book. So if you would want the first book, just message me and I can see if they have the first book if you're wanting the second book. Now, if you only want the second book, that's fine too. So I just skipped a lot of books. You can pause and look at those if you're interested. I've read Where the Road Bends and it's a really great book. I highly recommend that one. I've also heard really great things about um, The Secrets of Ember Wilde. Um, I've heard um, that these three books are really good. This book hasn't come out yet, but I'm, I have personally ordered this from Living Books and it's coming with the Christmas order. I should also say that I'm placing the Christmas order sometime like December 5th, 6th or 7th, hoping that this stuff is going to be here by just December 12th and 13th so that you can have it here in plenty of time for Christmas. Um, when the day comes, I've also ordered this one. This one is about tri time travel, and it seems really interesting. Um, here's um, a, the newest Tessa Afshar book. I personally just bought Yesterday's Gone when I was there in September. I haven't read it yet. Um, here's a bunch of Amish fiction now. 
Harvest Moon, I've heard really great things about, but it's the third book in the series. So if you want the first two, just let me know. I've also heard really great things by Way of the Moonlight. I've heard really great things about Where the Blue Sky Begins and Sweet Life as well. I also know people who love this triple threat series, so Body of Evidence, but this book is the third book. I personally do know that the first two books they do have in stock, or at least when I was there in September, they were in stock. So if you want those ones, you can let me know. Um, I've heard also good things about this series, but this is also the third book in this uh, series. Um, Premonition of what Withers Farm, I've heard really great things about that. I have it all on my list to order um, for my Christmas order. This book I have, um, if you want this, let me know what's happening is I think they're releasing a new book each month. They were um, self-published, I think, and now they're coming out with um, them through an actual publisher or through a, a different publisher. Um, Crossfire and Targeted, I've heard good things about. Um, this one is number two, so if you want this first one, just let me know. This one I'm really looking forward to. It came out in September. I didn't order it, but I've ordered it for Christmas. Um, it's about this girl who escaped from human traffickers and is determined to take her life back. I've heard really great things about it. So now we're going to move on to true stories. Rewired seems very interesting. I think I have that one. And I also have Now I Am Known, but I haven't read it yet. And then there's one here that I saw. Right here, Sam Wellman. He writes really good biographies. So this one about Mother Teresa, if you're looking for a biography, that would be really interesting. Here's one by Dr. David Jeremiah. Getting Old Ain't for Rimps. I had someone who ordered volume one. So if you want volume one and two, you're, you just let me know. All Geared Up Faith is really interesting. It has like pictures of old cars and it like goes through the history and it like, I guess there's devotions that go along with them as well. And then um, Choosing Forgiveness. I really like Nancy Damas Wolgamith, I think she's a really great writer. I've read this book, it's really good. She also writes um, Choosing Gratitude, which Living Books also has. I'm not sure how many copies they have. So if you want one, let me know, but I recommend both of those books. And then Parenting, Family Life, there's lots on parenting and marriage. And then with devotionals and journals, there was one that I did want to highlight. This one, Songs of Suffering by Johnny Erickson Tata. Um, that one seems really interesting. And then also if you're a farmer, there's Farm Sweet Farm. And if you're looking for like a devotional farming book for men, they also have devotional books for men as well. And if I don't talk about something, remember, you can always hit the pause button. And with gifts, there's coloring, word searches, crosswords, planners, cookbooks, and more. And you don't even have to get these as gifts. You can just get them for yourself as well. And then Bibles. These aren't all the Bibles they have. These are just the Bibles in the catalog. When I do go through the website, I will show you how to search for all the Bibles that are there. But I do want to talk about one of these Bibles, the filament Bibles. They have an app and you can scan any page in the Bible and then it takes you to the study notes and maps and devotions on your phone that you can go through with that page and passage. Though that Bible was highlighted at Living Books. So I did want to mention that. So we're done with the Good News Fall catalog. And I, now I want to go through the Get Reading catalog. So I just clicked on the tab because it opens a new tab when you click on the catalog. So this is the Get Reading Fall 2020 catalog. And this is more of a kids catalog. Um, 
There are a few things for adults, but it's mainly geared toward kids. So if you have kids, this would be one of the catalogs to look through yourself. So this one is 16 pages. So we're just gonna go through it page by page. So this is the beginners section. Some things like I've already mentioned in here, but there's also some other things. Um, I think these were in the other one, but there's a super duper jumbo coloring book, a math preschool workbook, amazing miracles of the Bible, and learn your letters. Those would make a good set. And they're all right here if you want to look at them more. And then junior girls. This one, Lucy doesn't wear pink over here, um, is about Lucy who questions everything, including God. So that might be a good one for kids if you're looking for something like that. Junior fiction, there's more adventures in Odyssey. And then there's also Imagination Station. Here's the Dead Sea Squirrel series. This is box set one to six. I'm not sure if they have the other ones in the catalog. Junior Boys, lots of series. I've heard really great things about the book Imagine. We're going to come up to it in a couple of seconds. Yeah, I've heard really great things about this book Imagine right here. And I think I've also heard when I was at Borden that there's six books in one. Obviously, it says that right here. But one of the six books wasn't released by itself. So if you want all six books, you have to buy this one because one of the books was not released by itself. And then just here's the fall order form. We can just skip through that. If you want to look through it, you can click the pause button. Junior devotionals. There's faith and science. That's 52 science experiments to do with your kids. Devotions for kids dealing with anxiety. Would you rather Bible devotions? Fruitful. When I was in Borden in September, I met Christy Thomas. And this helps your kids to actually live out the fruits of the spirit, not just memorize them. And then there's the case for Christ for kids. And remember, these are, I'm just highlighting a few of them. You can click the pause button. So junior nonfiction, there's the Bible Force comic book. And then there's a young readers edition um, over here. And it has The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom, God Smuggler, Cross and the Switchblade, Let Justice Roll Down. And then junior activities puzzles, activity books, and more. And then teen, lots of devotionals and series. And then parents and teachers. So there's more than a mom. And then help me, God, I'm a parent. And then may his face shine upon you. Biblical blessings to speak into your children. And then parenting generational screen. And then I saw this one here, eight dates for moms and daughters, eight dates for dads and daughters. I'm not sure if there's the moms and sons or the dads and sons, but if you're interested in possibly something like that, let me know and I can look for you. And that's the end of this catalog. So we're going to go back to this tab and click the Good News Christmas 2022 catalog. This is the Good News catalog, and we're just going to go through it like we have been all the other ones. So the first one is Twas the Evening of Christmas. It uses language from Twas the Night Before Christmas, but this one focuses on baby Jesus. Here's another Otter B book. Here's the children's board books, and here's my Advent Nativity. And after I've stopped sharing the screen, I'm going to go get my Advent Nativity 
And I just want to show you the inside of it because it, I think it's super, super cool. Here's children's activities. There's lots of activities, coloring and word searches. Here's children's junior and youth, more adventures in Odyssey and Dead Sea Scrolls are in here. Here's the adventure in Odyssey and Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, fiction, historical. I love Lynn Austin. She's probably one of my favorite authors. So when I was in Borden in September, I bought this book. I also bought um, The Mistletoe Countess, but I haven't read it yet. I also haven't read the Lynn Austin one yet. Amish, fiction contemporary. Um, this is a really good book. I've heard it talked a lot about a lot on YouTube. I have it ordered so that it comes with my Christmas order. That's a quilt for Christmas. There's gift books, The Christmas Carol. It reminds us about the more about Christ than what the normal Christmas Carol talks about. Um, stories behind the best love Christmas songs. Here's some cookbooks, adult devotionals. The Case for Christmas. Um, plannings and giftware. This is a nice little tidings of great joy collection. So you have a table runner, a fruit bowl, a goodie plate, and a gift bag. And then you have some bookmarks and a pocket card. And these Christmas cards are super nice. I've not seen Christmas cards this nice anywhere. So here's Christmas birds. Christmas opens our eyes to God's glory. Um, what Christmas is to the earth. Love came at Christmas. That's a really nice one. And then candy cane Christ Christmas, and then peace on earth. And then they have scriptures and Jesus is born, peace on earth, joy to the world, glory to God, Christmas illumination, and then lights of Christmas, more than a season. God sent Jesus from heaven to our hearts. Jesus invites, Christmas invites us to draw near to Jesus. Christmas is more than a season be happy and blessed and then um heritage nativity blessed christmas savior was born her firstborn son and then this christmas value box it has 48 cards 24 designs and then that's the end of this section and so we will go to the cheaper christmas catalog and everything in this catalog is on sale And this one only has four pages. So there's preschool. Trying to find the one I wanted to show you. There's lots of activity books. Maybe it's not here. But the one I wanted to show you is called A Very Merry Christmas Prayer. If you see it here, let me know. But it's called A Very Merry Christmas Prayer, and I've read it, and it's a really sweet book. And then there's um, Amish fiction and historical fiction. Um, some of these Amish fiction are written by multiple people. And then I have five of these books. I bought them all when I was in Borden. I think the only, I don't remember which one is the only one I don't have, but I have, I have these two for sure. And then I have the lopsided Christmas cake and the Christmas secret. And then I don't remember if it's a Christmas Haven I don't have or Christmas at Carnton, but I have all five of these books. I haven't read them yet, but I'm looking forward to reading them. Um, gift books, contemporary, cookbooks, gifts. So there's a mug set, a chalkboard, a sweater, DVDs, coloring, box cards. 
And that's everything that's in the um, catalog. So now I'm just gonna take you to the website before I unshare. So we're at the website. So you could go home if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna click shop now. So I'm gonna click it and it's loading. It takes you to this new site. And here is what you would come across. So here's the catalogs, here's the location, here's the hours. So if you wanna talk to them on the phone, this is where you need, these are the hours. And we don't change time. So I think we're on mountain time right now. And then when you guys change time, if you're watching from another time zone, we go to central time. So this is the phone number, but if you want anything, just order through me and I'll do the talking with them if you would prefer that. So there's like fall 2022 new releases, Christmas, you can also buy gift cards. But if you click shop all, you can go to, we're gonna go click Bibles. And then there's 49 results for Bibles that you can look through. You could also like do popularity, newest, high to low price, low to high price and alphabetical. You could also just um, click Amish fiction. And there's 14 results you can look through there. Um, I have this series, The Jam in the Nook by, I don't remember who it's by, we can click on it and see. By Amy Clipson. I don't have this book, so I've ordered it that I can hopefully have it for Christmas, but let's say we wanna do like a little pretend order. Oh, it doesn't look like they're all in. So let's just add coffee corner to the cart. And so we've added it to cart. We're gonna to continue to cart. And then we're, we can, here you can add your coupon or gift card. There's shipping prices, um, subtotal. And if you want, you can always add more items. So we're gonna click checkout. And then here's the contact info, shipping method, um, your credit card information. If you wanna click that, you can save it. You can also put your coupon or gift card in there. So add note to the seller. So if you would want to buy something online cause you're not local, you can put, I, I am a customer of Alicia Schultz. Um, and then say, please ship this to me directly, directly now as soon as this order is processed, if you don't live locally. If you do live locally and you still want it shipped right now, you can still put that in there. But just if you want to buy something off the website, just make sure that you have this in here. I am a customer of Alicia Schultz. That would probably be the most important thing you have in there. Um, if you, here's how you can go back to cart and continue shopping and click shop all. Here's all items. There's 1,683 results. Um, you can get them to show 60, 120 or 180 and popularity, newest, all that stuff. And then you just go down. I'm sure you know this. I also wanna show you journey to the manger as well when I stopped sharing. Um, and then you just go down, you can look at everything they have. If you want to click pause, you're welcome to. And then you just click the next one, obviously, or you could go all the way to 29 if that's what you want. So I hope this helps. So I'm going to stop sharing, but I want, before I go, I want to get my two books that I said I would show you after I stopped sharing. So right now, as I'm recording this video, Living Books still have these books in stock. I'm not sure if when this video goes up, if they'll still have it. So make sure if you want these, as soon as you see this video, message me and I will put some on hold for you. So the first one is my Advent nativity, and I'm sorry that it's backwards, but we'll just have to deal with it. And so this is a nativity set that you can put together by yourself. So this is what it looks like when you put it together. That's what it looks like on the back. And so this is what you read with your kids. I know it's backwards. This is the floor. 
This is the other thing you can read with your kids. It talks about long ago before Adam and Eve where God made Adam and Eve that God had a plan to be with his people forever. This is the second part of the floor. And then you take all of these out. You can take this out of the book. And then here's what you would read on December 1st and 2nd. And then you would take this piece out for December 1st and put, attach it with that one and put it on the nativity set in the correct spot, December 2nd. That's what you would do with that one. Same thing with that. And then it goes all the way through to December 25th. And then when you're done, you have this whole nativity set that you put together. And the great thing about it is you take it out, you build your nativity set, and then when you're finished, you can put it all back in the book and use it again next year. And it says it's for ages three to seven. And um, it is 22, including tax, and that's Canadian. I don't know how much it would be American. And then this other journey to the manger is for like seven plus so it's journey to the manger advent calendar it includes an advent poster 26 bible character stickers i'm just reading off the back um 25 faith activities 25 daily readings puzzles and a parent's guide and more so we open up the book that's what it looks like nothing special and then this i just turned to this page day 15 so you could there's this thing that you can read for parents for younger kids for older kids. I don't know how well this is focusing. And then you read this and then there's a prayer and then there's the kids puzzle. And then that's for day 16. And then go all the way through there. And then we're back, we're at the start of the kids activities. So here's like the first one. So this is what you would do. I know it's kind of hard to see and I don't know how well it's focusing. Um, so you're gonna spell a word on the keyboard, keyboard to reveal a path match the path to the coded pattern below put the word on the line below so you're going to do that kind of a pattern um this one is like a um, crossword so there's a whole bunch here and then here's all the stickers and then um, there is one that i do want to show you if you order it just have to find it it says um cut out the donkey and the tails but if you cut it out, this is the next page. So like cut out the donkey and the tail. So I just put this little note right here that it would probably be best to trace and so the kit, you might wanna do some photocopying too. Um, so those are some options. And then there's like these pages. And so this one is $13.95. I don't know how much taxes, taxes 5%. So just add 5% to $13.95 and that's the total. That's Canadian. I don't know how much American it would be, but those are the two books that I wanted to show you. And um, if you have any other questions, you can let me know. Um, just a reminder that I'm planning to put an order in December 5th, 6th or 7th, probably gonna place it the 7th. Hopefully it's gonna be here by December 12th or 13th. I don't know how slow it's gonna go with shipping. I know someone who ordered and their order was here the next day. But um, with Christmas, there's lots of extra mail going around. So I don't know how soon it's gonna be here. If you wanna order say anything, let me know and I'll try to help you with that. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching.